guys welcome to my channel and with geetha sri today i came with an interesting topic that is basic anatomy and physiology of cardiovascular system i have gathered all the basic and important points of cardiovascular system to you and you can if you follow this video carefully you can easily remember the key points of cardiovascular system easily so let's get into the video generally cardiovascular system mainly consists consist of three things that is heart blood vessels and blood the term cardiovascular itself says that cardio means heart vascular means blood vessels and blood all these three things makes together as cardiovascular system now we are going to see about the important organ of cardiovascular system that is heart the heart is a muscular organ located in the thoracic cavity known as mediastinum so now this point heart is located in the thoracic cavity known as mediastinum heart contains four hollow chambers that is two upper chambers and two lower chambers upper chambers are called as atria or atrium lower chambers are called as ventricles heart is covered by three outer layers those are epicardium endocardium and myocardium there are also some walls involved in the heart those are tricuspid wall pulmonary wall mitral wall aortic wall these walls helps to prevent the backward flow of the blood inside the heart chambers you can see in you can see in this picture tricuspid wall it is located between the right atrium and right ventricle so it prevents the backward flow of blood between the right atrium and right ventricle pulmonary wall it is located between the right atria right ventricle and the pulmonary artery mitral wall located between the left atrium and left ventricle aortic wall located between the left ventricle and the aorta it can be very easily understandable if you observe the picture very carefully coming to the functions of heart heart essentially has two functions heart pumps deoxygenated blood from the body to lungs after oxygenating the blood it again pumps the oxygenated blood to the heart and from there to the body parts all this pumping of blood will occur through two body two circuits that is pulmonary circuit and systemic circuit pulmonary circuit occurs right side of the heart whereas systemic occurs left side of the heart pulmonary circuit it pushes the blood from the body to lungs to get oxygenated in the lungs whereas systemic it pump now we are going to see about the see about the pattern of blood flow in the heart the deoxygenated blood from the upper body parts will be carried through right atrium to the superior vena cava and the deoxygenated blood from the lower body parts will be carried to the right atrium by the inferior vena cava from there it will be transferred to right ventricle through the tricuspid wall here it avoids the back flow of the blood and from right ventricle to it moves to pulmonary artery and there it moves to lungs in the lungs the blood will get oxygenated and after getting oxygenated the blood will be moved to left atrium and to the right left ventricle left ventricle to aorta aorta to rest of the body parts so all this blood flow will be done through the blood vessels only the blood vessels are meant for carrying blood throughout the body blood vessels are mainly two types they are arteries and veins arteries carries the oxygenated blood from heart to the body parts generally they are thick walled compared to veins veins carries deoxygenated blood from the body parts to the heart to make them to make the blood oxygenated veins are thin walled than arteries so coming to the third thing blood blood brings oxygen and nutrients to all the parts of the body so we are discussing from the starting that pumping deoxygenated blood pumping oxygenated blood the main thing and the main function of pumping the blood is to carry the oxygen and nutrients to all the parts of the body so that so so then they can 
so that they ca they can keep working blood carries carbon dioxide and other waste materials to the lungs kidneys digestive system to be removed from the body and blood is composed of 90% water generally blood will be containing so many substances out of all those there are three main substances in the blood they are erythrocytes also called called as red blood cells leukocytes also called as white blood cells thrombocytes also called as platelets let's see an overview of these three things that is heart blood vessels and blood and the cardiovascular system in cardiovascular system heart pumps blood to the body through arteries and branch off into small blood vessels it pumps blood through blood vessels the network of capillaries is where oxygen and other nutrients diffuse through the blood into the blood cells heart has a beat of its own through the electrochemical circuit system that is relay in four main sub patients they are sk node av node bundle of his and purkinje fibers they circuit electrical impulses throughout the heart which is useful for blood flow if you want more information about cardiovascular system comment down and i'm also going to make a video on medical terminology record related to a cardiovascular system subscribe my channel and stay tuned for that video Please like share comment and subscribe my channel learn with geetha sri bye bye